Have you ever wondered what could turn the rosy pink of a baby's skin to a shade of blue? This is the reality of a rare condition known as methemoglobinemia, or more commonly known as blue baby disease. Deep within our bodies, in the vast cellular seas of our bloodstream, red blood cells busily carry oxygen to every corner. Hemoglobin, the protein within these cells, binds to oxygen and ensures its safe passage. But what happens when this protein changes? When hemoglobin is oxidized, it transforms into methemoglobin, an altered form that struggles to bind to oxygen. This transformation reduces the blood's oxygen-carrying capacity, leading to a state of hypoxia, or oxygen deprivation. The symptoms of this deprivation can manifest as shortness of breath, fatigue and cyanosis, which is the bluish discoloration of the skin that gives blue baby disease its name. But what triggers this transformation? Methemoglobinemia can either be inherited due to genetic mutations affecting the enzymes that metabolize methemoglobin, or it can be acquired. It's the acquired form that is often linked to environmental factors and certain substances. Chemicals such as nitrates and nitrites found in fertilizers, pesticides and industrial pollutants can convert hemoglobin into methemoglobin. Certain medications, like anesthetics and antibiotics, have also been known to induce the condition. So, how can this condition be prevented? Minimizing exposure to known triggers is key. This involves measures such as testing private water wells for nitrate levels, avoiding certain medications unless prescribed by a healthcare provider, and practicing food safety. In unraveling the mysteries of blue baby disease, we find not a hopeless affliction, but a condition that can be understood and prevented. By being aware of our environments and making informed choices, we can protect ourselves and our loved ones, ensuring a healthier future. Knowledge is power. The more we understand about conditions like methemoglobinemia, the better equipped we are to prevent them. As we continue our journey of understanding, we invite you to join us in spreading awareness about this rare but impactful condition.